What's up guys, Jimmy G here and bringing you guys a player SBC review. I've um, been starting the series on Instagram. Um, so go ahead, check it out down below if you guys just want a quick snapshot. If you guys don't and you guys want to uh, love these in-depth reviews on some of these player SBCs, just let me know, give me a thumbs up down below. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. This one is Bruno Fernandez, the player of the month SBC um, that just came out. Um, and the plan for this really is just to go over skills, um, look at probably the best chemistry style for him, uh, look at his overall price, um, other comparable players. If you guys are you know really turned off by his price, or, or um, yeah, if you guys are really turned off by his price, and then lastly, I'll give you guys my final opinion. So let's go ahead and check out the overall player. So Bruno Fernandez, Manchester United, Portugal. Um, he did ha actually have a really great. Um, uh, month. This is probably, honestly, guys, the last player of the month card as well because of the whole coronavirus and the leagues being suspended and all that. We may not be able to see this if, if uh, for another couple of months. I would think so. Um, I don't think there's going to be one for March and probably not in April, depending on how things go. So that's going to be really, really interesting. Um, but let's just check out this card. We'll see how team of the season goes too. Got to think about that. Um, 510 high high four star four star skill moves actually have really really great work rates there high high I'm a big fan of high high um, typically for cams though probably high medium in that sense um, but high high is not bad you just want to make sure they stay forward um, but if you are playing very defensive he's a not not too bad of a player um, four star skills is pretty good um, you can do a lot croqueta and then four star weak foot which also isn't bad as well um, player details let's go in and check out his stats so he has um 90 acceleration 86 sprint speed not bad he actually has pretty good pace um his shooting is a 90 overall his finishing is a 83 which is kind of weak but really great long shots if you guys enjoy um, shooting outside the box he has really great um, finesse shots as well um because his curve is 90 really great composures agility and balance is uh 83 84 not the best but not the worst um passing is all 90s um 93 the highest anything between 90 and 93 which is really good uh, he, he has a little bit of a defense you can potentially pay him as a as a as a center mid in a four two in a four two uh, four two two you could also play him possibly a, in a four two or four three three possibly you know as a, as a center mid as well um depending on what type of formation on a four three three um and then jumping strength isn't bad as well 72 i mean it's not the best um but 75 aggression 99 stamina is crazy on him you could just do constant pressure all night long um so overall not a too bad of a player um what's his what's the sbc's looking like five overall um 85 rated kind of steep 86 rated um 87 86 honestly it's really 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 expensive um no team of the weeks though is what i'm noticing right there's no team of the weeks no team of the weeks chemistry styles are pretty low 50 60s 65 70 so it kind of gives you anything else if you guys did a lot of um 81s and you guys are a manchester united fan or just a Bruno Fernandez fan as he came over from the Ling Lignos. Definitely, you know, it might not be a bad pickup. Um, I do know he has a winner uh, refresh, so we'll definitely check out that card here in a bit on how that compares with him. Um, but let's go ahead and check out Footbin, see what Footbin's final price is on his overall. This this card seems pretty pretty extens expensive, honestly, over 600k. I would I would think so. Um, just basing off, look at both these 87s, 86s. And then another 86 and 85. So overall, super expensive player of the month card, especially being this far in, where you could get a Dennis Bergkamp for, um, or Laudrup, who's better than this card, and just spend some time on the game with those um, icon swaps. So let's go ahead, transition over to Footbent, and see, compare some players, check out his overall price, the best chem, and I'll let you all know what I, what I think. So here's Footbent, guys. Um, overall price is 774,000 coins. That's way too much. Way, way too much for Xbox. It's 760,000 coins. That's that's pretty, that's quite a bit, um, especially for late in this game. I would think this card should be no more. Personally, I would think so, no more than like uh, five, 600,000 coins. Um, but lately, um, EA has been pricing the SBCs pretty high, um, in my thoughts. And so this is definitely one of them being it. Um, 
again acceleration all that let's see what the best chemistry is i definitely think you guys should play this guy as uh, bruno fernandez either as a center mid which is a 8.99 or a cam which is a 9.02 so what i typically do to find out what's the really the best chemistry um is just to start clicking on some of these and kind of see what happens so 94 just for the basic um 94 again uh for a cam 91 so a dead eye is going to bring up to a 95 which is pretty big um Let's check out the marksman. None of this works. Ooh, a maestro. Maestro could boost them up to a 95, whether as a cam or a center mid. Um, I kind of like the maestro a little bit as well because it's almost maxing out his passing. Um, giving him a slight agility boost, but giving him a pretty good boost in, in the overall dribbling. Um, it, what it doesn't do is it doesn't boost his finishing, which I don't like about it. Engine is always phenomenal because I'm a big fan of the pace boost. It gives him that uh, balance and agility boost, but you still have that issue with his finishing. Um, and then a shadow, or not a shadow, um, a, a hunter. I don't think a hunter is also very suitable for him, to be honest, especially as a cam. Um, cams don't need unless you, you enjoy super fast cams. I don't think that's really going to be it. I think a hawk will go a really long way. Um, you give him a little pace boost of five, boost his finishing a little bit, and give him a little bit of physical, or you give him a marksman. Why I say a marksman is because you really max out that uh, the finishing, the shooting, and then on top of that, you're giving him a five in the, in the agility and giving him a nice little boost in that dribbling as well. But, I mean, also the dead eye looks pretty good as well, maxing out his shooting as well as passing. So I'll leave it up to you guys. I personally think the dead eye is probably going to be the best bet. I'm okay with this pace. 90 acceleration is great. Uh, if you guys are play him anywhere else, um, the second option I would think so would probably just be an engine as well. If you guys are really looking for him to be a really great passer, give him a little bit of pace, true box to box type of thing. Um, so there's that. His price, again, is too expensive. Other players. So this is really interesting, right? So let me go ahead and reset the chemistry. This is the winner re refresh card. You know, um, it's only, I believe it's 100,000 less. And from the winner refresh up to his player of the month, he only gets a plus plus one, not even on pace, just a plus one all around. So each stats gets a plus one. If you guys are really thinking about the card, try out the winner refresh. Um, give that a go. Um, it's going to be the best best option for you guys to really understand if you guys really want to do them. Also, Team of the Season is going to be coming out in a couple months. I don't know if you guys want to put 700 or almost 800,000 coins into this just quite yet. Uh, yeah. And some of the other players as well. Um, let's just go ahead and click on this just to get the full final price. It's uh, 636,000 coins, 585 on the Xbox. Um, definitely try this card out. Other great options, though. I want to find other great options for you guys. Really great comparison is Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne has four star skills, five star weak foot, right around the same price, 725,000. At least you're able to um, buy this card and then sell it back on the market to get your coins back. Um, it won't be a four first owner, though. So if you're all about the first owner thing, definitely do the Bruno Fernandez. Um, but it's a very, very similar card shooting is probably better his dribbling is a little worse kevin de bruyne and his paces as well um but it's also kevin de bruyne is a five-star weak foot so you gotta give him a go secondly i think for Mino is another really great option for this bruno fernandez cards as a substitute he's 674 a little bit better uh pace is a little weak as well agility and balance is is not as great but um, a really great substitute if you guys don't really want to put in 700,000 coins but you guys want a player like it and then lastly, I'm also throwing in Sun there. Maybe you guys could spend a little bit more and get his um, UCL live card. Um, actually, possibly not a live card. Yeah, maybe his live card. 688,000 coins. Maybe we'll see. It's a striker, so that's probably why he's worth a lot more. Um, I believe it's bottom out as well. Um, be careful of the live cards. Keep an eye on it because I think it's probably bottom out or not. But it's also a really great substitute to, to check out, try it out, let you guys know. Um, four star skills, five star weak foot. His defense isn't quite there, nor is his physicality. But looking at these players, also looks like Bruno um, in a Premier League cam. Bruno Fernandez is also in his own little bit of a league, really getting that pace boost and that pace stats. But the five star weak foot is one of those big deals for me personally. 
So final opinion, guys. I don't think you guys should do the Bruno Fernandez SBC. I think you guys could buy his um, win a refresh card. I mean, the minus one difference, I don't think, or the plus one difference is going to be a huge deal in that sense. I don't think you guys will even feel it in the slow gameplay. So try the win a refresh before you guys get it. I don't think you guys should do it. Um, and I'll just leave it at that. So Jimmy G23 is out. Peace.